Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jane and um, I will be talking about why China, or rather if you're thinking of coming to China in 2023, do you think or do I think, in my own perspective obviously, is that um, is, it, is it worth it? Is it worth coming to China in 2023? So stick around because when I come back um, after my intro, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things about how and why and if, okay, that's the word, if you should come to China in 2023, okay? Just stick around and I'm going to see you after my intro. Bye! guys um all right so you're welcome i am jane like i said in the earlier start i will be okay I'm, I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there you may be hearing some birds um some owls crying the birds singing or talking i don't know what they're doing there or the the, the cocks um like talking all right so i'm just i'm just gonna I'm just gonna be quick with this one, okay? Because I'm actually on the mountain and I woke up this morning. I was like, okay, the weather is amazing. Okay, look at me. I'm still on my robe and I'm still like, my whole hair is bullshit. So yeah, I just want this video to be all natural. All right, so I'm just gonna dive into the topic for today about if you should come to China in 2023. My own perspective may be different from others. So if you think you're not, uh, you don't agree with some of my points or some of my um reasons it's okay i mean it's okay we can always disagree to agree right and you can always like um put in the comment session about maybe things that you think um um we should know about china i mean in case you know more than i am talking right now okay so without further ado, i'm gonna say number one is if you come in here um like to study to study especially if you're from like the non-native um countries and i will i will just advise you to maybe look for scholarships okay if you're coming here for for like uh, studies try to look for scholarship even if it's not like full scholarship you can look for a part-time scholarship you guys okay because in china we're not allowed to work as students all right and i love to work as students and um it may be a bit difficult for you you know it may be a bit difficult for you to you know maneuver your way and try to like pay your bills and you know live a life without money you know yeah this is china for you it's, it's unlike the western countries and their schools allowing you to pay i mean to work while while studying you know it's it's totally different okay so maybe i'm not gonna judge with that one all right so maybe you can judge for yourself okay if you still if you still think you want to come to china in 2023 so as a student just listen to me and yeah and the second one is what people might not tell you okay people might not tell you and i'm just gonna put it out there raw i mean what do i have to lose right i just want to give people the real informations they need okay the real information they need all right so the number two of if you should come to china okay i'm just gonna give you the reasons and then you can sort it out yourself all right i think um the china butter is open all right the china butter is open but it still has some restrictions you guys it still has some restriction obviously it can be like 2022 2020 2021 those like the covid time but yeah i would still say that it has some restrictions yeah it still has some restrictions number one is like um you cannot how do I, okay you can enter everywhere right now i'm not sure about about other places but here in my city you can enter but some apartments cannot be cannot be rented to foreigners okay that's like a rule <laughs> For some landlord that they don't want to rent to foreigners and also some restrictions like um there are lots okay i i, I can't think of anything right now but i know there are a lot please if you know any restrictions please put it down in the comment section okay put it down in the comment section so number three is that the chinese economy is actually i don't know but it was down before okay it was down before but now it's going up so if you should tell me that when it comes to economic wise and don't just come here thinking you will save the money like no, no nobody will give you money like your hand here okay nobody like hey jane or hey cynthia if you're cynthia watching this or hey gloria <laughs> take this money no 
they will not be without money so if you don't have a plan do not come to china if you don't have a plan if you don't have a plan to hustle okay you guys you don't have a plan to hustle and please do not go illegal in china okay it is not a child's play please and please and please do not go illegal in china if you have a rule that your school your embassy has please follow the rules do not do not go illegal please it is hard to get out of that state okay i have not okay i'm i'm, I'm saying as if i have experience i'm sorry i don't have experience okay but i know that it is hard for some people to get out of that place so please do not go illegal thank you so second the third point here is actually i think um personally for me um, if i'm to be asked um i think it depends on what you want to come to china for if you like to come to business great and fine china is a place for you if you want to come to look for love or like a long-term thing i don't know if this place is for you okay because i feel like china is a bit hard and you know the visa and everything and uh, don't take me wrong okay a lot of people are getting like their long-term relationships here and you know it can work okay it can it is possible let me just put it that way it is possible but do not do not have like the high expectations here i would say to you guys do not have the high expectations because you know people are just struggling here and some people are making money that ways and you know sometimes the visa could have a problem and they might want to go back to their country if you're from the same country that's good and fine sometimes it's worse sometimes it's still the same thing you know or if you have a strong you know plans with people or the the, the, the significant order about how to do it even if you, you cannot make it in china you know i think that should be very important okay that should be very important um yeah i think you should ask and um, you'll be given an answer obviously okay ask about the love if you don't watch my last video about when i interviewed someone about the love in china just go and watch it i think i will click i will i will put it here okay i'll put it here and tag it here so you can see i just actually two sessions one and two okay so i'm just gonna tag it up there if if in case i don't tag it please and please just go down to my videos don't forget to subscribe okay in fact i'm gonna give it like 30 seconds so please subscribe how did i not say that in the beginning um, all right i'm just gonna give it 30 seconds so please go and subscribe just you don't even have to go anywhere just click the subscribe button and it's totally free <laughs> it's totally free please okay i'm waiting I am waiting. All right, that is it. Okay, thank you for subscribing. I believe you subscribe. Okay, so these are three things I think that you should consider before coming to China and to think if China is your place for 2023. Okay, but nevertheless, have your plans. Um, don't expect so much follow the laws and the regulations um and yes have fun okay have fun do not do not take everything seriously here do not take everything seriously because your tomorrow might not be promised okay your tomorrow might not be promised here you might be having visa issues or just i don't wish that for anyone but yeah do not play with the time the later time you have, the holiday you have, try to make friends, try to love people, try to try to go out, try to try to try to like people around you. Do not I don't think keeping malice in a short country like China should even be there. You know. Please do not do all of that. It doesn't make sense. Just be free with yourself and with other people. And take it slow with yourself, okay? So here are my three um where are my tips tips on if China is for you in 2023. I'm gonna see you in my next video and I just wish you can enjoy the nature with me. <laughs> Bye guys.